Reaper War began in 2186 with the invasion of Kite's Nest, the home cluster of the Batarian hegemony. Previously, the Reaper's arrival had been delayed twice. First, by Commander Shepard's thwarting of Sovereign's attempt to open the Citadel mass relay into dark space, and by Shepard's destruction of the Alpha Relay, a mass relay located in the Viper Nebula cluster, which the Reapers planned to use to travel to other relays throughout the galaxy. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system, all dead. Stymied by Shepard, the Reapers sought an easy target to begin their invasion, because Reaper forces grow primarily through indoctrination and harvesting. This would allow them a chance to build their forces before targeting the more formidable console races. The Reapers set their sights on the Batarians. The Batarians were an excellent first target for two main reasons. Their isolationism and the Leviathan of Dis. Several million years old at least. And its technology outstrips anything on the council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. I'm concerned, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. Understanding Batarian isolationism requires a brief primer on Batarian social structure. Batarians are governed by a hegemony. Their society is a rigid caste system where questioning or insulting those of higher castes is considered strictly taboo. A key component of this system is slavery, which is practiced throughout Batarian space despite being illegal under console law. Their continuing practice of slavery, secretive and strict social structure, and hatred for humanity left the Batarians isolated from the rest of the galaxy. Without representation or an embassy on the Citadel, and with no real friends among the other races, the Batarians were an excellent target for the initial Reaper invasion. This invasion was made even easier by the Leviathan of Dis. Approximately two decades before the start of the Reaper War, the Batarians discovered the corpse of a Reaper in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Keeping the discovery hidden from the galactic community, they brought the dead Reaper back to their home cluster for study. Hoping that study of advanced Reaper technology would lead to breakthroughs, they put many of their best scientists on studying the corpse. Though dead, Reapers are still capable of indoctrination sure enough, a large proportion of the Batarian scientific and tech experts were indoctrinated, along with some prominent political and military officials. These indoctrinated Batarians worked quietly for years within the Batarian hegemony, springing into action when the Reapers entered the cluster. They sabotaged Batarian defenses, shut down communications hubs, and threw the Batarian military forces into disarray. With their military and communications in disarray due to indoctrination, and without any allies to ask for help, the Batarians fell quickly to invading Reapers. While some lucky few Batarian colonists fled once they had heard the news of their homeworld, the vast majority were left behind to be harvested. Though the exact size of the Batarian population is unknown, it is likely that millions, or even billions, of Batarians were harvested by the Reapers. These harvested Batarians provided the Reapers with plenty of material for manufacturing cannibals, which would be deployed in force during their invasion of Earth. <laughs>